Hey guys, so data recovery is a very expensive business. I guess a lot of people knows this and it's very sad and yet very true. I mean, just take a look at some of the most popular data recovery software that's on the market today and not just the most popular. Take a look at all of them and you will pray you'll never have to buy something like this ever. Most of them offer free trials between 50 to 500 megabytes. But if you have the bad luck like I did and erase all your drive, in my case was way over 100 gigs of data, including personal files. And this was the thing that bothered me the most. A lot of family pictures, videos and so on were gone. Yes, I know I'm smart that I keep this kind of stuff on the same device on which I experiment with all kinds of operating system, partitioning, formatting and so on. Of course, without having any backup, despite the fact that I do have a 2TB external drive just laying around, which is almost empty. So this is not one of those videos where I've seen a thing and I thought it would be cool to make a tutorial about it. No, this actually happened to me and this is the whole journey, to say it like this, from the moment I lost all my files up until I recovered them all. You will see that I have my old live wallpaper, my old icons and team, because this actually happened to me two months ago when I was preparing for a Chrome OS video. What happened while I was in Ubuntu, I messed up a command by not giving the folder and the partition location and Ubuntu was like, the whole drive? Okay, no problem. And then everything was gone. In an instant, everything was gone. I'm just glad that despite being pissed, it did cross my mind to open OBS and record everything, even if I wasn't sure that I would manage to recover something. Now, this took me like two days until I found something that actually worked, that was free and that recovered all my files. Now. Let's say 99.99%. .99%. It was like five or six files that could not be recovered from over 4,000. And this is a percentage that I could easily live with. Now, some of the recordings were hours long, so I will try to summarize this whole process as short as possible. So when this thing actually happened to me, I had no idea about uh, recovery software, the names, what what's good what's not how expensive they are and so on so i started googling i looked on youtube and first thing that looked good on paper not on paper on youtube to say it like this was this software called hetman partition recovery of course in the video they don't tell you stuff like this and also on the website they let you download they let you install you know, the software makes a full checkup and then after scanning you see all your files there and you get excited up until the point where you want to recover them and then they show you the pricing and then you are like F you. you either buy it or stay without your files or you do more research hoping to find something that's free and that will help you and this is what I did, more research, and I came across Windows File Recovery. This is Microsoft's very own recovery tool. You can find this in Microsoft Store and it's free. And most importantly for me, it had no limit. So you could recover from one megabyte up to 100 or 500 gigs or whatever you had on your drive. The most important thing is that you must have enough space on another drive to recover all your files. So yes, I gave it a try, I installed it from Microsoft Store and as you can see, it has no GUI, it's just a terminal and they give examples here how to put the commands and you can do it uh, in a regular scan or extensive scan and here down you have examples and all this gave me a very good feeling and I thought, okay, I made it, this is it and all from Microsoft. And so I started putting the commands and the modes, how they are presented here in hoping that it will work. And then I started seeing hundreds and hundreds of files being recovered. And of course, I was so happy that this actually works up until the moment I tried to open them. Now, this was the problem. All my files were recovered, all of them exactly how I had them, in the exact order, in the exact folders, it was great. Up until I tried opening them, none of them worked. JPEGs, PNGs, videos, AVI, MP4, MOV, archives, 
nothing absolutely nothing worked i could not open one single file one document one text nothing worked so basically i recovered 100 gigs of useless trash and believe me, I tried to fix them with other softwares. For example, I tried to fix videos with VLC. Nothing worked. Absolutely nothing worked. And then think about trying to fix over 4,000 files. That's absolutely insane. And I didn't understood also why it doesn't work. I guess it had to do with everything being erased with Ubuntu. If it would have been probably a normal delete, I guess it would have worked. I don't know. I did more research and I found something called Recuva. I know I was a little afraid to go at the pricing section, but when I went there and I saw that it says absolutely nothing, just advanced recovery, not up to 500 or up to 1 gig or trial version, nothing, just free version advanced recovery. And this made me think, I was like, hold up, there must be, there must be a catch. They don't say it here, they will say it after I install the software, after they scan it, like with all the other softwares that I tried until now. So of course it made me curious. I installed it, I let it scan my drive, and at the moment of the recovery I was expecting to be hit again with entered product key or purchase or whatever. But it didn't, it just kept going. I was like, damn, it's actually free and it's extracting my files. But will I have the same problem like with Windows File Recovery from Microsoft? And the answer is no, I had absolutely no problem. It recovered my files and now I have everything back. It is free, it has no recovery limit, it works better than Windows File Recovery, is at this point the only one that worked for me, so I recommend it. If you have a problem, if you need to recover a bunch of files, a huge amount of files that you lost, there it is, download Recuva and good luck. <laughs>